Welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. In today's episode, I am using my brand new Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt laser to make some gorgeous and beautiful DIY decor. I love this machine and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So whether you're in the market for a laser or you just want to hang out for a little bit and watch these beautiful DIYs, I am so glad that you're here. If you like crafting, DIYs, dupes, hacks, thrift flips, or just creating in general, I would love if you would consider subscribing. If you like any of today's projects, remember to hit that thumbs up, but let's go make some DIYs. This Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt laser is absolutely amazing. It comes with some very detailed instructions there. That manual comes in several different languages. So whatever your preference is on reading to put together machines, you've got it. it they've got you covered. But this machine is so straightforward to assemble. It comes mostly put together. This part that I am doing here, this is an option that you can get that is a cover that makes this an enclosed laser, which is so nice to cut down on some of the smoke. I, you feel a little bit like it's a little more safe to use. I really do like this feature. Now all you do to set this up is you slide your laser on there. You have a couple of cords that you're going to connect there and then you're going to uh, complete putting on this top. Now this took me about 45 minutes to get this laser put together. I have done a few of these before so I would say if you're new at this it may take you about an hour, hour and a half to put this together from the time that you open the box to the time that you're making your first cuts. I mainly use lasers when I am wanting to do some custom work with my crafting or I'm wanting to get some cuts that are so fine that obviously I'm not going to be able to do them by hand. Uh, they're also great machines to have for making gifts. I've had a few of you reach out to me and tell me that you've purchased lasers and you've been able to make it your full-time job, whether that's doing craft shows, you're doing uh, traveling, doing fairs, or you're selling online like an Etsy shop or something or a common of all of those but they are great machines and this Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt that is right 60 watt is so powerful and so incredible now this uh cut that I'm making right here I have a friend that is obsessed with gnomes and I thought it would be so fun to cut out some little it's gardening season and she loves to garden but just some little garden stakes to go in some little potted plants or in her garden of some cute little gnomes so that's what I'm doing here so I've made the cuts and you can see uh, here how detailed this laser gets and the precision that it has I mean this is so these turn out so cute. I just love these. Honestly, I may have to make some for my own garden. Are you guys in love with gnomes? I know they've been popular for such a long time and they're still just going strong. And honestly, I don't necessarily love them in my home, but I love them in my garden, that's for sure. So that's why I made these as I thought that my friend's going to really like these. So there's three of them here. And the cuts that this machine made were so precise and so um, it took no time at all. When you have that cutting power of a 60 watt laser, I mean, you're easily one pass on these cuts and you're good to go. But look at how cute these turn out. I think these are so fun. I'm going to go buy a potted plant to stick these in to give her uh, with them. And so she can put them in her garden or wherever. Where would you guys put these if they were given to you? I just think they turned out so cute. And honestly, it took maybe about five minutes, if that, from beginning to end when it cut these out. And then I just had to use a little bit of spray paint on either side to get the color. And I chose these colors because I thought it would be fun to have them kind of stand out against the greenery on the plant. But you could easily make them a little more subdued if you wanted to. I just thought the bright colors were a lot of fun. If you happen to craft for a living or you have done that as a side hustle at all, you know definitely that time is money. So the faster that you can put out high quality products, the better situation you are going to be in when you're getting ready for shows or having an inventory to sell. And this machine does just that. At 60 watts, you are getting the highest uh, level of laser that Creality currently offers. 
And the neat thing about this machine is it has an intelligent three-level adjustment beam. It could be a 22-watt, a 40-watt, or a 60-watt uh, light beam with just one click. So it just depends on the project that you're working on. This is a sunflower mosaic sign that I am making here, and I just love how this turns out. But you can see with just one pass on this craft wood that I'm using here, I lift this up and the pieces come. I mean, it just cuts super slick, almost just like butter. I mean, it just cuts so nice and you're getting that clean edge every single time. And it's so satisfying when you pick up your pieces here that you have cut out and all of your pieces have cut successfully. That means you're going to have less waste with uh, projects that you've messed up on, um, which everybody knows that that is so frustrating when that happens. And every single cut that I made with this machine has been successful. It is amazing. I just love this. So you can see here, this is the main part. This will go in our project there. And I'm just going to come and paint all the little tiles to make this mosaic sunflower. So I'm going with a color scheme here of kind of a navy blue and then I'm going to do a yellow for the sunflower petals here. This is such a beautiful yellow color. It's called like summer squash, I believe. And it's got a very mellow yellow color. So it's not super like mustardy. Uh, it's not overpowering and it's not super pastel either. It's just a really good summer yellow. And then this is just the teal turquoise color that I'm going to do. And on this part that kind of works as the kind of like a stained glass window if you will. This is kind of like that iron piece or kind of that connects everything together. I decided to stain this in just with some antiquing wax to give it um, a nice natural color. But I mean, I could have even spray painted it to be like a coppery color or anything it would have worked just fine. But this looks so beautiful when it's all put together here. It's so fun looking through all of the different files and all of the different types of things that you can make with a laser. I will leave a link to all of the files and everything that I used, even all of the paint colors down in my description box, as well as information on this laser. Uh, so be sure to check that out and it has all the promotions and everything like that. Now I'm just using some wood glue underneath each of these little mosaic pieces here. I've sped this up just a little bit here, but just a little bit of wood glue, some super glue or some Gorilla Glue would work fine too. I was just running really low on my super glue. So I just thought that putting some where I'm fitting this in kind of like puzzle pieces, that wood glue is going to be fine because it can dry just sitting flat like this. And you just need it to have a little bit of bond and hold there. But you can see as it all the pieces come in, it just comes together beautifully. Again, it reminds me of like stained glass, mosaic, whatever. But I just think this is so beautiful. And the fun thing is, is by changing up just the colors, if I decide to do one in um, a little bit different types of colors, think about like red, white, and blue for the summer seasons coming up here. I just think that it would completely change the look of this piece and how fun to have it changed up for different seasons or to match your own home or your porch or anything like that. I would like to know your thoughts on this piece, if this is something that you like. It's a little bit different than any of the other laser pieces I've made before, but I really think it turns out just absolutely beautiful. I think that door signs or round signs, welcome signs are some of the most popular uh, laser cut signs that I make that I know sell well and people absolutely love them. And this one is gorgeous. Now I'm just going to show you a little bit on this machine here. You have your panel on the side with the uh, homing there, directions for your laser. You can start and stop and frame from this section. It has this nice little emergency stop. You have keys to turn it on and off so you can have those set away so little ones cannot get into this. Safety is number one priority with this company. And you can see there's the USB cable there. And on the opposite side, you have this integrated air assist, which is amazing. It is so quiet. I cannot hear it. It is 
It is awesome. And and what that does by air assist, if you're not familiar, is it's constantly blowing a stream of air out at the same time that it is cutting. So it is reducing charring on your piece. So you can see how absolutely clean the top of that piece is. And you don't get like all of those burn or scorch marks. I'm sure maybe you've seen some of those at some craft fairs when people have been selling blank wood and they have a little bit of those scorch marks. That air assist is what stops that from happening and gives you those nice pieces that that look very high end and very like professionally cut. Now I'm just taking all of the little mosaic pieces from this. This is kind of like a little bit of a, a geometric design on this sign, this welcome sign, and it turns out so cute. And it would be so fun to play around with a different color scheme to make it for different seasons here. But as you can see, I'm keeping that uh, part with the welcome letters cut out. That is just going to be my center point so I can easily use that to space everything correctly on the sign. And then I will also use that when I place the letters in. Uh, that's a trick that I have learned with uh, lots of experience with lasers uh, instead of trying to get them straight myself. Because as much as I want to say that I can get things straight on the first shot. That's not true. We all know that. We've watched my channel for a, a long time and know that I sometimes don't get things exactly straight. So I love the fact that I've learned that little trick and I'll, I'll show it to you a little bit uh, up close here. But just using a little bit of wood glue to put these little like puzzle piece geometric shapes in there, it's going to hold those nicely because it will lay flat to dry and I don't need them to have that instant hold uh, like with the Gorilla Glue. Now you see I'm just putting this little template back down in there and then that will stay put and I will go and glue these in. Now these I do use uh, the glue on there that is the Gorilla Glue or like that DAP glue, some type of fast hold glue. And you don't want to put so much on that it's going to seep underneath your template because you don't want to glue that to your sign. And you can see just a little bit here. I put just a couple little dots on there. And again, just like puzzle pieces. I mean, it's kind of fun to sit here and have these fit in so nicely. Uh, and I'm just going to stick each of those letters in. Uh, by the time I get to my last letter, they're all pretty much dry and I can pull that template right off there. So let's go ahead and skip to that point. You can see I just pull that up and my letters are spaced beautifully and they're nice and straight, which is not something I could do just by eyeballing it. As much as I wanna say I can, I cannot. But look at how beautiful this sign is. I think that these colors are just gorgeous. It has such a clean look, and I think on anybody's door or if layered with a wreath or anywhere that they wanna put this sign, uh, it is definitely going to be very welcoming and it is going to be a nice high-end piece added to anybody's decor. This machine has a camera focus feature that you can use to frame your pieces. It makes it so easy. It's so easy to set up and use so you can make sure that you are framing all of your pieces very simply and easily. And I just love that feature. Now, I thought it would be so fun to cut out some tiered tray decor. It is actually, I think this is the most popular item that I do with my laser is the tiered tray decor and also it is such a good seller as well when you're doing uh, craft shows or an Etsy store or anything like that. And you can see how every little thing cuts out perfectly with just like one pass. It takes very little time and the detail is amazing. Now to have a look at this is the cutest little car. I'm so excited for you guys to see how this turns out here. But I had just set my camera on top of the machine to kind of film it cutting here. This is in real time. It is cutting so nicely and really, I mean, it, quick work and look at how fun this is. I'm so excited for you guys to see this all put together here but it does engraving with this it scores it cuts it does so many fun things and you can see the detail of those little leaves those little teeny pieces that it cuts out with such precision now this is the cutest little beach house and I'm this all these just turn out so fun I have a daughter who's so in love with beach and surfing right now and I thought it would be so fun since the last day of school is coming up to have all of these maybe set up with some cute cupcakes for them to come home on their last day of school for and have this as a little treat for my daughter she can use it in her room to decorate with because this is kind of her theme or aesthetic that she's going with so I just tried to stay with colors that she was using 
really kind of beachy colors. This light aqua is so pretty here, as well as um, this is just a white right here, but I also use like a coral and a yellow all just those colors that you think of with uh, the beach here. But it just, you can lay all of your little pieces out like this and it takes seconds to spray paint each little coat that you're doing on there. So if you're trying to uh, create a lot of product and so like while I'm spray painting this, it's cutting more stuff out. So you can get a very nice work line going here, a good workflow uh, and have it be, uh, look at this coral color, isn't that so cute? I just love that color. But you can have this be a really nice system and create a lot of high quality products very quickly. And in order to do that, you've got to have a machine that you're not having to stress about if it's handling what you need it to. And this machine definitely can do that. So this is just the little surfboard for the top of the car. I wanted to kind of hand paint a little bit of the detail on the sides. I thought it would be kind of fun to do yellow on there. And I cut these little teeny pink flowers out and I just thought they would be so fun to kind of glue onto the surfboard. Now I just put a little bit of glue onto my little trinket tray there and I'm just dipping each of those down in that glue. There's several different ways to glue your products together and I'm still trying to play around with some different types of glue and find out which is the best. My favorite that I have found that I keep going back to is the Gorilla Glue, the Gel uh, Gorilla Glue, or the DAP DAP brand that you get like at Home Depot or Lowe's uh, that's just more of a gel. I feel like you have a little bit more working time with that and it does dry fairly quickly. Um, but I did have just a little bit of Dollar Tree wood glue I thought I would try. And I do like that because uh, it, number one, it's a lot less expensive than the other glues. It does hold very well for these pr uh, projects that I'm doing here. Here. However, I just don't love the drying time. You have a little bit of time still to manipulate the item and kind of move it around and get it to where it needs to be. But I really uh, just love the quick dry of like the DAP glue or the Gorilla glue. Uh, and so that is why I keep going back to that, I think. But the wood, this is the first time I used wood glue on these little pieces and it did work really well. Look at these cute little flowers with those cute little leaves on this little bug here, this little, um, when I say bug, I'm thinking like a Volkswagen bug, but just like this little beach car here. I just think that this totally looks like something a cute little beach comber would have. And it's so cute. Now really quick, I just want to show you, this is the camera feature here. So I can put my piece of wood down on my laser. I can connect the camera and I can kind of, uh, move that uh, image around so I can fit it exactly on my piece of wood in here. Now this is three quarter inch or like 19 millimeter MDF board. I love using this for crafts to cut out. I usually have to use my jigsaw because the lasers take too much time or they're not powerful enough uh, to cut through um, and get it and I end up having some like mistakes. However, this 60 watt laser went through this so fast. One pass, you guys you can do this in one pass and look at how easy that came out and this is like I said three quarter inch so I take this you're going to be able to use this to stand up this is such a game changer for crafting to have these big chunky pieces like this and it stands up completely on its own so I gave this a nice coat of chrome spray paint. So when I set the faceplate on the top of this thick car here, you can see those cute little windows. Now the fun part is, is I can do different themes or seasons as the faceplate of this car and I can switch it out for different seasons. How fun is that? And you just use magnets to uh, get it to stick. Now this cute little summer sign, this is so fun uh, to be able to put pieces like this together. You do it just like puzzle pieces and that's why it's so nice to be able to use glue that doesn't uh, seep all over uh, and because you'll take that piece out and you're left with your cute little sign. Now this is one of my favorite pieces. It is so simple, but I just love, it's like a little street sign almost. I just thought this was so cute that said beach house. I've seen them have a lot of different things or even like your street name on them, but I just think this turns out so cute. Even though it's so simple, it was just perfect. And then I have all of these other fun pieces that I'm just gluing together. This is where everything kind of comes to life. And this is one of the funnest, uh, 
stages of all of this for me. I love watching the laser cut these out uh, and when you're painting them. But when you come to put all of these together, I literally get like giddy with excitement for how fun they turn out because it's something you can truly be proud of. Now, I love creating things by hand and having that homemade look. I'm not saying that that does not have a place. It definitely does. And you see me do a lot of that on my channel. But it's so nice to be able to have something that looks professional and high end like these pieces do. I mean, honestly, when you're looking through uh, catalogs or you're shopping at the store and you're seeing these pieces that you're buying at the store and they're obviously selling at the store, to be able to make something that looks that nice and high end, there is just something satisfying about that. And to be able to provide that type of product for a clientele base is just absolutely amazing. These little flip-flops were my husband's favorite out of everything that I made. He just thought these were the cutest little things and they truly are. We live in flip-flops for the summer. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, I have to do these. And honestly, it, it, I put a little um, twine on it to hang. And I'm like, I think I might actually make some Christmas ornaments out of these flip-flops, paint them up with different styles or put some cute little scrapbook paper on them. But I just tied some twine in to make the cute little like flip-floppy part there. And I just think these are so cute. And I had to, of course, distress something. I thought it was really fun to kind of just take one of these signs and I wanted to just kind of age it a little bit to maybe look like it had been sitting out at the beach for years and season after season and it's still just going strong with a little bit of the salty air and the weathering that it might take and it was so fun but this right here you guys this is what it's all about when you see all of your items put together and they're so fun. This makes me so excited for summer. And I just love the fact that I was able to take an afternoon, cut all of these out, paint them and glue them all together. And I have these beautiful pieces here. Does this not just make you want to go to the beach or at least just pretend you're at the beach? I live very far away from a beach, so I'm not getting there anytime soon. But I really was just channeling that inner beach girl vibes today to make all of these pieces. And I just love how each and every one of them turns out. Which is your favorite piece from this collection? I would love to know. As a whole, they are all so fun and that little car is so cute. But honestly, that beach house sign, I just think that I just love the shape of that and the simplicity of that. And I can think of so many different things that I want to make like little street signs to have little different words on them. I think that's going to be so cute. I did a lot of very fun and cute projects today as well as some really beautiful projects. I just love them all. This Falcon 2 Pro 60 Watt Laser is a game changer when it comes to working with lasers. The efficiency that this machine has and the precision all wrapped up into this beautiful package is amazing. I absolutely love this laser and you guys. Honestly, all of the Falcon 2 Pro lasers are absolutely fantastic. Of all the lasers that I've used, this line of lasers is my favorite. And the fact that I can have one now with this much power is just like mind blowing to me that with an entry level laser, you can get this type of power and this um, wonderful of a machine. I'm going to leave all of the links down in my description box for you. Uh, any promotions, the links to the laser, as well as any of the files I used or paint colors. If you do have questions, definitely reach out to me either in the comments here or on Instagram. I will do my best to get back to you and answer whatever questions I can. I just love that this laser community is growing and is you guys are sharing the passion as much as I do for these machines. And I just love all of your support and thank you so much for that. Thank you again to Creality for letting me be one of the first to use this Falcon 2 Pro 60 watt laser and be able to share this amazing machine with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting! If you like the video that you just saw and you want to keep crafting together, here's another video that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.